your presence in this space is no mere coincidence. It's a meticulous and intentional connection designed to deliver the profound message of Apostle Joshua Selman directly to you. This message goes beyond being a mere source of blessings. It's a dynamic force, sparking the flame of greatness within you. Open your heart expansively and permit your mind to fully immerse in the opulence of this transformative diet. Before we venture further, I extend a sincere invitation for you to actively participate in this meaningful content. Engage by expressing your gratitude. Extend a virtual thumbs up to the video. Share its wisdom with those in your circle. Many are going to receive an impartation of favor now. I just sense that fire on my hands. Father, as many who are tired of going around in circles and have not experienced favor, I stretch my hands. Receive this moment, the grace for favor. Receive this moment, the grace for favor. Let it rest on you. Paris Keparuta Siata. Receive this moment, the grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. Let it turn your life around. Let it turn your life around. In the name of Jesus. There are spirits that have tied men. There are spirits that have stopped destinies from going forward. They have not just attacked people because they are individuals. They have ravaged families. They have ravaged destinies. You can see their signature all over families. I'm about to make a decree right now. I see the fire of God just spreading everywhere. Whether inside or outside, as much as you can, I want you to bring those people here right now. You're not going to shout. I will speak. And then by the power of the Holy Spirit, <laughs> let it come to an end now. Let it come to an end now. Oppressions, causes, patterns that have tied destinies. I'm saying it again. Please bring them out. Let it come to an end now. By the fire of the Spirit of God, anyone here under the sound of my voice, you are a victim of household wickedness you are a victim of territorial spirits familiar spirits orchestrations of darkness tying you tying your loved ones right now be free be free be free be free be free be free i set you free by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare be free right now be free for you and your children be free for you and your loved ones be free for you and your brothers and sisters be free in the name of jesus i'm seeing a word misfortune misfortune these are calamities that plague people you get up in the morning and something evil must happen by the time it is evening i pray for you i don't know who that person is but let the power of god wherever you are spirits causing misfortune aborting prophetic opportunities be set free now be set free now be set free now my god fire is burning in this place be set free now be set free now the plague of negative occurrences negative patterns around your life negative patterns it happened to grandfather it happened to father now it's happening to you in the name of Jesus those patterns are broken now 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 in the name of Jesus the spirit of delay tying people in one place my god 
fire is resting on people now. Delay over jobs. Delay over God's prophetic word. You are going to shout Jesus. And as you shout that name, anyone who has been a victim of delay, your deliverance comes now. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Jesus. Rakata bakata pas, rapaka baraka topates, rapata bata baka baraka tos. Delay, broken now, broken now. That cost broken now, broken now. Hallelujah. Now most of you are not will not believe that there are spirits that keep families poor the issue of economic empowerment is not just the issue of products and services it's not just the issue of intelligence and value there are spirits and i want to set you free i'm ministering as god is placing it in my spirit are you ready to shout that name again that name the bible says for ye know the grace of our lord jesus christ second corinthians 8 9 that though he was rich yet for your sake he became poor that ye through his poverty might become rich the first realm is, is riches unto righteousness but then it extends to every other area i'm praying for you any family here that have not had the opportunity to taste of the goodness of god to live a life of dignity and grace as you shout this name let those altars go down are you ready one two three shout jesus Spirits of lack and want and poverty. Lack and want and poverty. Lack and want and poverty. Be broken. Lack and want and poverty. Give way in the name of Jesus. Don't be tired of receiving all. Don't be tired of receiving. God is changing your life. Changing your life. Changing your life. I'm ministering deliverance. But many are going to receive an impartation of favor now. I just sense that fire on my hands. Father, as many who are tired of going around in circles and have not experienced favor, I stretch my hands. Receive this moment. The grace for favor. Receive this moment, the grace for favor. Let it rest on you. Paris Keparuta Siata. Receive this moment, the grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. Let it turn your life around. Let it turn your life around. In the name of Jesus. favor favor someone who came here struggling you have done everything you know to do whether you have a job or not the difference does not show in your life whether you are in business or not the difference does not show in your life whether you are helped or not the difference does not show let this grace rest upon you now rest upon you now rest upon you now Are you ready to receive speed? Destiny is a function of time. And when Satan steals your time, he has taken a major part of your life. This one will come heavy on someone. There are two ways God gives us dominion over time I have taught you. Number one is called restoration. Number two is called speed. When God wants to show a man mercy, he brings both. Restoration means the events that should have happened in your yesterday are brought forward to manifest in your today. Speed is that God gives you capacity to do much within a little time. Are you ready to receive it? 
I pray for someone. Let me start with restoration. I don't know what you have lost through carelessness, what you have lost through lack of discernment. But I pray right now, let the grace for restoration rest on you. Restoration in your finances, restoration in your marriage, restoration in your relationships, restoration over your spiritual life, over your job, receive restoration by the Spirit of God. Now are you ready for speed? Oh, I believe in speed. Oh, some of you will run like Elijah, my God. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I stretch my hands on a man of God. I stretch my hands over a business person. By God who has shown mercy, receive speed. Speed in ministry. Speed. Speed in business. Speed in career. Speed in your finances. In the name of Jesus. Let me prophesy to you. Become on time. Manifest on time. Acquire on time. Conquer on time. Receive the anointing on time. In the name of Jesus Christ. On time. That everything that will not allow you to have dominion over time just help those under the anointing I'm praying it for you again by this grace for speed some of you God will take 10 years and put it in two months 10 years you believe it I'm speaking by the spirit 10 years and put it in two years for you in one month for you anybody that plans evil for you in the name of Jesus, what happened to Haman will happen to them. I say it again, digging a pit for you to fall. May they fall into that same pit. Fall into that same pit. Fall into that same pit. Not to a hearer, that if you found your way to this place, or you are connected in the name of Jesus, you must carry a potent testimony tonight back home you must carry a potent testimony tonight back home in the name of Jesus testimonies are real testimonies are real they are manifestations of the hand of God the visitations of God by his word through his spirit in the life of his people are you ready for a change of story you are going to cry. I will list out the prayer points and you will pray. It's part of the miracle service. You hear the word of the Lord. Every pain, every pain, let it be gone now. Every pain, pain around your chest, pain around your, your back for someone, the lumbar area, let that pain be gone now. Pain around the limbs be healed now Amen. for someone you have severe pain I'm seeing someone pain around your right ear be healed right now Amen. your hands severe pain this has happened now for days for someone be healed right now Amen. shout a believing Amen There's someone you have a very severe pain around your rib area. I'm not sure if you've gone to the hospital for tests, but in the name of Jesus, the Lord is bringing you healing right now. Amen. Bringing you healing right now. Amen. Now every pain, whether I mentioned it or not, I decree and declare be healed now. Amen. I'm hearing the name Christova. Who is Christova? I'm hearing a name Christova. Christova, I'm going to minister deliverance right now. Christova. Is there someone with such a name? Christova. God wants to set you free. Christova. Who is Martha? 
Martha, M A R T H, Martha. Who is Christopher? Sani Skobarin Toskila Fraga Parantos Cabria Tatos Yatabash. Please don't come out at random. If it's not your, if don't feel bad. If it's not, don't worry. Everybody will receive. Hallelujah. Christopher. Bring for me the gentleman that shouts now under the anointing. Loud. Please pick him and bring him to the front. A gentleman, not a lady. Your name is Christopher. What do you do? I'm a student. I'm a student. Huh? Come again. NDLEA, sir. NDLEA. NDLEA. Yes. I'm going to pray for you, Christopher. Yes. The Lord wants to do a miracle in the life of Christopher. The power of God is coming on one of you right now. I just saw light, the ladies. One of you, the anointing of the Spirit is coming upon you. Martha. I'm hearing the name Martha. I cause that oppression of darkness. Let her go now. Christopher, I pray for you in the name that is above all names. Let the spirit of death over the family of Christopher in the name that is above all names. Whatever is programming an obituary over the family of Christopher, it dies now in the name of Jesus. Dies now in the name of Jesus. Is there anyone with the name Maimuna? That should be a Hausa, a northern name. I'm hearing Maimuna. I want to pray for you. If you find such a person, we have to be very fast. Christopher, you, the spirit of death over the family of Christopher, I come against it right now. I declare you will live and not die. You will live and not die. You will live and not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know, I presume there might be a number of people, but there's a gentleman here, they call you Junior. Junior. What's your name? Junior. They call you Junior. Junior. Yes, yes. Look at me, where are you from? Benway State. Benway State. I need to pray for you. Because I'm seeing your leg swelling, and I'm wondering what is swelling this leg. Don't be afraid, I'm not a prophet of doom. Stand up, my friend. Junior, they call you Junior. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over this gentleman. The Bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. As I'm praying for him, I'm praying for you. Anybody that plans evil for you, in the name of Jesus, what happened to her man will happen to them. I say it again, digging a pit for you to fall. May they fall into that same pit. Fall into that same pit. Fall into that same in the name of Jesus Christ. Who works in UBA, United Bank for Africa? UBA. I can imagine that there might be many people who are staff here who works in UBA. We have to be very fast. Please don't tell lies. Make sure that you are serious. We're not playing games. Please, UBA. Okay, the ladies, huh? in the name of Jesus, no, I'll pray for you. Father, my dear, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! I decree and declare everything the devil has planted in your stomach, I declare that it lives now forever. Jesus! By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus. UBA, I'm praying for you. There is something that God wants to do in that bank. And there are a few people who are going to be mightily lifted. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you. The favor that needs to rest upon you in UBA. I release that grace upon you. That as they are looking for people to lift. 
because you have come here tonight may my God honor you what God says to one he says to all God has spoken to us that is a season of reward may it be so for you I'm saying it to you again be lifted in a way that will surprise you by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ you return to your seat rejoicing in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is opening my eyes I'm seeing the map of Nigeria I wanted to bring those people out and the Lord is taking me to Kogi state there is a spirit when God shows me this now he begins to minister to people who belong to those regions it's a sign and a wonder how God does it but right now I'm praying even as God has shown me everyone who comes from that region and has been tied down bring them out by witchcraft or any orchestration of darkness since God has revealed it in the name that is above all names I silence those spirits now <laughs> I silence those spirits now Please bring them out very quickly. The Bible says, even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I'm praying for everybody, but I saw the map of Kogi State in the name that is above all names. Every evil that dwells within that region, plaguing men by the blood of the eternal covenant, all who are connected to that, set, that territory, be set free this moment. Be set free this moment. Be set free this moment. In the name of Jesus who is from Gombe State Gombe State Gombe State will be Northeast I don't know why God is speaking to me now about Gombe State in the name that is above all names Gombe State mighty deliverance is coming to someone Gombe State the Lord is showing me that there is a spirit that keeps men and never allows them to rise by the power that raised Christ from the dead, Gombe State. Pali show praskima hashandala korako sevreskiata. Kradis kol severento sevrediskiata. Granishana malako sabradigeberiata. Let fire from heaven rest upon everyone who has been plagued by spirits within that state. I set you free now. 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 The powers that reside within those regions, trapping destinies, trapping lives, I declare by the word of the Lord, be free now. Be free now. Be free now. You may not be from this region, but anyone whose region is the reason why you are kept down, I release you. Go forward now. Go forward now. Go forward now. For it is written that even the lawful captives shall be delivered. My dear people from Gombe State, God has come to you. Receive that visitation now. Every family that has been tied down, every great destiny that will not emerge i say it again it doesn't matter in what way it is appearing joblessness barrenness troubles in home i declare be delivered now there is a spirit you've lost many men male male in your family by the power that raised christ from the dead i don't know who is here representing that family but in the name that is above all names, we stay the power of darkness from oppressing your family. We stay the power of darkness from oppressing your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Last week, you were relieved of your job. Last week, we have to really hurry up. There's May God bless you. Please return. Once I pray for you, return to your seat for those who can. Last week, the Lord is revealing to me, you were relieved. I don't know what happened. You were relieved of your job. If there is such a person, a serious job now you're doing, and you were relieved, is there such a person, I want to pray for you. 
if you can't come forward I'll pray very quickly in the name that is above all names for that person whether male or female is not given to me but in the name that is above all names I'm praying whoever is that person you have been relieved of your job I'm praying that the God of heaven the one who gives people allocations gives people jobs may he open a strange door for you now in the name of Jesus Christ 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 hear me and the Bible says and that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep and he said bring me the Chronicles and they found where Mordecai saved his life and was not rewarded and he says who is in the chamber there and the evil man Haman was called he said what shall be done to this man thinking it was him he gave the best suggestion he said do the same immediately to Mordecai I want to pray for someone here it may look like you have been forgotten can I tell you the truth people don't just remember they are made to remember most of you from this night I, I stand by the God of heaven and I tell you you will receive strange calls this night people numbers that have not attended to you for years I fear God I will not stand here and waste your time you are intelligent and responsible people I know what I'm seeing that is making me say what I'm saying let me repeat it again there are many people this night I am telling you as 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 surely as the Sun rises in the day and sets I pray for you and I declare according to the vision of the Lord those who have forgotten you in the name of Jesus tonight we place an anointing upon your life let there be remembrance for good let there be remembrance for good now listen we want to pray for the sick just sit down there I'm about to pray for you now listen carefully no 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 you don't have to bring them out except if she's just dro dropping something don't worry I'm going to pray for everyone mama don't worry you sit I'm going to pray for you now now please hear me shortly I'm going to ask you to stand I'm asking you to sit because that's the only way to bring some order now we we'll do this very very fast the prayer request remember when they are ready please you can bring them here and just place them before the Lord I want to pray for the sick I believe in miracles now when I pray for the sick very quickly I'm going to request that you do what you could not do before and the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you please if possible if I can have maybe one or two pastors just somewhere here so that they can confirm you and then we'll take a few yes any of you at all we can take a few miracles some of you already from what has happened you are seeing that there are already miracles I want to pray for you are you ready now to be prayed for listen to me Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 Peter was preaching in the house of Cornelius and this is what he had to say how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power he went about doing good and healing not they that were sick they that were oppressed for God was with him I'm about to pray for you and I want you to believe you came with someone sick I want you to believe whether you are inside or outside Jesus is wherever you are some of you are standing in for loved ones who are not here wherever you are I want to pray for you right now please stand on your feet if you can now the moment I pray those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out just guide them I want to pray for you 
believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. We are standing to respect that anointing. Believe in impossible miracles. Right now. I have seen God walk wonders and miracles in the lives of people. And tonight, it is my joy again as we celebrate the mighty and the marvelous hands of God. Now, someone is going to shout loud under the anointing. Listen, the moment that happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. I'm only asking you to stand in faith with me and to agree as I pray. Hmm. That's not the shout. The shout you are hearing. That's a shout there. Now let's pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on South Africa. You can say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hmm. My God. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God, the power of God is moving here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Right now, I decree and I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every spirit that is back of any disease and infirmity, hear the word of the Lord. I command you, let their destinies go now. Release their destinies now. Release their destinies now. Now I decree and declare, help them. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. From the crown of your head, even to the soles of your feet. Oh, that fire is coming on you now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood conditions. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood conditions. Be healed right now in Jesus name. HIV. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Every bone condition. Inability to walk. Inability to stand. Using an aid, I command be healed now. Every kind of blindness, partial blindness, complete blindness, I command those eyes to open now. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Deaf ears be open now. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a lady you have, I don't know, a growth around your breast area. I command that devil to go now. Every growth around your body, hear the word of the Lord. I command that it dissolves and goes now. Peptic ulcer, be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Asthma, be healed right now in the name of Jesus. severe heat around the body just your body whether it's cold or hot there's there's that hotness around the body the power of God is touching you right now there's someone you couldn't lift your hand I don't know what pain you came here with but right now as I'm praying the power of God is touching you I'm seeing someone I don't know what the condition is now but you are not able to turn with your neck you feel severe like a sprain right now in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching you be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone having heart a heart condition I don't know what the condition is but it is you have a problem with your heart we correct it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit very painful condition of pile right now as I pray for you the power of God is touching you right now where you are be healed right now Amen. 
someone just at your back here the lumbar area I'm seeing that you've had severe pain it's almost as if you cannot stand and stretch I declare right now the power of God is touching you please believe it the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ your left leg for someone your left leg I don't know whether I, around your knee area I don't know what the problem is but the power of Jesus is touching you right now amen high blood pressure goes down right now goes down right now goes down right now hepatitis the Lord is healing hepatitis of all sorts in the name of Jesus be healed right now I don't know what problem you have with your throat um, it, it's been so for a very long time so it is not COVID but you have it's almost as though your throat is always dry you to treat it and it's not being healed and you feel almost as if there is an injury there I'm praying for you right now the power of God is touching you this moment and if there is any family member you know across South Africa who is suffering from COVID-19 of Jesus Christ may the power of God touch them wherever they are right now yeah. hallelujah now whether I mention your case or not in there's someone is it appendicitis you are already beginning to feel very severe symptoms of it but the power of God is touching you wherever you are right now in fact the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing someone right now in the hospital this is a kidney problem I don't know if it's your father or someone a kidney problem this is this is a situation that humanly speaking except maybe a kidney replacement or something of that sort otherwise based on the current kidney is almost damaged but in the name of Jesus Christ we speak life to the body of father wherever he is Be healed right now in the name of Jesus now hear me a permanent in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God that has touched you we decree that that same power will preserve you in Jesus name I pray amen and amen praise the Lord please stand on your feet if you can hallelujah now I believe let me share with you a scripture very quickly while praying. 2 Kings chapter 19, please, from verse 14. 2 Kings chapter 19 and, okay, thank you. 2 Kings chapter 19 and verse 14. Now, please look up. The Bible says, And Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. And Hezekiah went up into the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. Next verse. And Hezekiah prayed before the Lord and said, O Lord God of Israel, which dwelleth between the cherubims, thou art the God, even thou alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth, and hast made heaven and earth. Uh -huh. Lord, bow down thy ear and hear. Open, Lord, thy eyes and see. And hear the words of Sennacherib, which had sent him to reproach the living God. Of a truth, Lord, the kings of Assyria have destroyed the nations and their lands. And have cast their gods into the fire, for they were no gods, but the works of men's hands. Wood and stone, therefore they have destroyed them. 19. Now, therefore, O Lord our God, I beseech thee. Save thou us out of his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art the Lord God, even thou only. Next verse. Then Isaiah the son of Amos sent to Hezekiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, that which thou hast prayed unto me against Sennacherib, king of Assyria, I have
that there are times in our lives where we can be so overwhelmed even if we have to prophesy we see in part if we have to minister even if in a vigil there is only so much we can do I love to pray for requests like this because it's the most accurate representation of your desires. I decree and declare over your life that as God is recruiting this end time army, men and women who will be at the cutting edge of God's prophetic agenda. Yes, yes, oh, yes. may he find you in this season. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By reason of this prayer, Many of you will begin seasons of training with the Holy Ghost. He will begin to walk with you. He will begin to show you things. Every anointing that has been reserved for this end time over South Africa, we stand by the privilege of priesthood. We declare heaven, release it to God's people in the name of Jesus Christ. Apostolic mantles, yes. prophetic mantles, yes. evangelistic mantles, yes. pastoral mantles, yes. entrepreneurial mantles, yes. governmental mantles. Yes. Take that grace Fire. in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire! Shaya, ya, 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 your ministries in the name of Jesus whatever has stagnated you so that you will not go forward by the power of prophecy we push you go forward what? go forward yes greater exploit amen for Jesus amen. greater exploit amen for the kingdom amen in the name of Jesus amen you hear me please do not miss tomorrow's service but let me speak Every altar over South Africa. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Every planting. Ordinances of ancestry. Foundational orchestration. Destroying the destinies of men. We come by the rod of the higher priesthood. And in the name of Jesus. We set those altars on fire. We set those altars on fire. We set those altars on fire. Hallelujah. We speak to the two lift gates of South Africa. That everything that has closed you. We stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. Let the gates of South Africa be open now. Amen. Be open now. Amen. Be open now. Amen. Open for greater development. Yeah, 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 yeah. Open for greater revival. Open for greater manifestation of God's power. Hallelujah. And we stand in partnership with the government and all who have continued to fight COVID, they are doing their best medically, but we stand with the tokens of the prophetic. That's right. We speak over the spiritual climate of South Africa. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Yes. COVID-19, we call you by your name and we curse you by the God of heaven. Amen. We call you by your name and we curse you by the God of heaven. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We decree and declare everyone who has lost money, everyone who has lost opportunity, people have cried because of the, the whole pandemic. In the name of Jesus, may the restorer restore you a thousandfold. Amen. You hear me? Every spirit that sponsors crime every spirit that sponsors corruption yes every spirit that sponsors moral decadence Amen. hear the word of the lord yes. we sound the shofar of revival over south africa oh, yes yes thy yes. kingdom come oh god thy kingdom come oh god from city to city from region to region let there be a wind of evangelism a wind of salvation yes. a wind of the prophetic in the name let of jesus arise let men of fire arise in the name of Jesus,
my last session with you is tomorrow in the morning and let me encourage you please whatever sacrifice you will make for tomorrow I will share with you the last key that controls the move of God and there will be a final ignition upon your spirit man amen make that sacrifice amen. but as for tonight I assure you that you must return with a testimony amen the Lord bless you the Lord increase you in Jesus name if negative cycles hear me in the name of Jesus I call upon the God of my covenant that if there be anything that is a pattern around your life let that pattern be broken now be broken now be broken now be broken now as you shout amen let it be broken now this pattern I've seen it all I've seen intelligent people your grandfather begged with PhD the son begged with PhD there are children they can school anywhere but the only way they live is by begging and they are not lazy and then if somebody emerges and is the one to wipe the tears of the family even an ordinary bike will kill that person any programming against your family in the name of Jesus Christ I call upon the God of heaven let let the God of vengeance visit your foundation now let the God of vengeance help this woman let the God of vengeance visit your foundation now let the God of vengeance visit your foundation now if negative cycles hear me in the name of Jesus I call upon the God of my covenant that if there be anything that is a pattern around your life let that pattern be broken now be broken now be broken now be broken now as you shout amen let it be broken now this pattern I've seen it all I've seen intelligent people your grandfather begged with PhD the son begged with PhD there are children they can school anywhere but the only way they live is by begging and they are not lazy and then if somebody emerges and is the one to wipe the tears of the family even an ordinary bike will kill that person any programming against your family in the name of Jesus Christ I call upon the God of heaven let let the God of vengeance visit your foundation now let the God of vengeance help this woman let the God of vengeance visit your foundation now let the God of vengeance visit your foundation now anyone here trusting God for a job I bow my knees to the God of our father and I pray for you in the name of Jesus by next miracle service return with your employment letter and hear me believe in prophecy anyone who has a job that is fighting your relationship with God not allowing you go to church not allowing you serve God that the only way to remain in that job is to compromise may God relocate you to another job in the name of Jesus there is a grace for influence and visibility that grace can pick you from your room and can cause the nations to know you we are privileged stewards of that grace and in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I place that anointing on your life believe it I place that anointing on your destiny strangers will look for you from across the nations of the earth may they find you they will not rest till they find you and bless you and announce you and honor you in the name of Jesus anyone who has called you the black sheep of any family anyone who has called you the reason for shame and reproach may my God by his hand upon your life may he vindicate you this season koinonia anyone called barren prepare for your children coming I say it again anyone called barren this is the year you carry your children hmm. 
I feel led to pray for people who are trusting God for structural establishment. A house, a car. If you don't believe it, allow those who believe it to receive. But in the name of Jesus, for anyone trusting God for structural establishment, in 30 days from now, in the name that is above all names, and I say this prophetically, may my God surprise you. Beyond your savings, beyond your current resources, may my God surprise you. Houses you did not build, vehicles you don't have the money to pay for, let favor bring it to your doorstep. Hallelujah. Hear me. You have any gift upon your life that can announce you to the nations. But who to connect with may be what is missing. I pray for you right now. That gift stops being silent from today. That gift stops being silent from today. Those who need your gift, may they find you. Those who need your gift, may they find you. Those who can reward you for your gift, may they find you. In the name of Jesus. Therefore, I declare over these requests by the power of the Holy Spirit. The next request you will be writing will be for others, not for yourself again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. amen. The hands that are lifted, no power will bring them down. Amen. Your hand represents your productivity. I say it again. The hands that are lifted, not by witchcraft, not the wickedness of men, not the antagonisms of negative people. No power will bring your hand down. No power will silence your voice. Surely they will gather but they will not sustain the ability to diminish your influence. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, let me pray for you. And I want you to receive this. Whatever makes you use your money to service sickness, use your money to service police cases, court cases, you never have the opportunity to enjoy the blessings of God upon your life. That God has been faithful, but your money is always used to resolve tragedy from today. May tragedy be too late for your life. Did you hear what I said? May tragedy be too late for your life. Too late for your life. Too late for your business. Too late for your ministry. Too late for your family. In the name of Jesus, shout a sevenfold amen. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Give Jesus a hand clap of praise and a shout of victory. Hallelujah. Because you have believed it, prepare to come and stand here testify. Because you have believed it, prepare to stand here to testify. In Jesus' name I pray. Keep standing, everyone. You is of your people let there be miracles in the name of Jesus are you releasing your faith with me let there be miracles in the name of Jesus let there be miracles in the name of Jesus let there be miracles in the name of Jesus miracles of fruitfulness miracles of advancement miracles of restoration miracles of strength job opportunities marital open doors celebration of children twins and triplets and quadruplets opportunities to relocate abroad as your destiny requires restoration of marriages restoration of sick people some of you have lost money you have lost opportunities we command restoration Strategic relationships that you have lost. May God restore. Amen. Koinonia shout amen. May God restore. Amen. What happened to Esther that lifted her? May it happen to you. 
are someone who has faith to believe what happened to esther that took her from shushan to the palace may it happen to you what happened to ruth may it happen to you what happened to abraham that caused abimelech to give him riches and all kinds of resources may it happen to you what happened to gideon that empowered him to lead an army may it happen to you what happened to lot on account of his connection with abraham may it happen to you anyone here appointed unto death that according to the plan of hell that this is your last miracle service that by the next one you would have been buried i cancel that statement we cancel that statement cancel that statement for you and your spouse cancelled for you and your children cancelled for you and your parents cancelled structural establishment in 30 days from now in the name that is above all names and i say this prophetically may my god surprise you beyond your savings beyond your current resources may my god surprise you houses you did not build vehicles you don't have the money to pay for let favor bring it to your doorstep hallelujah hear me you have any gift upon your life that can announce you to the nations but who to connect with may be what is missing i pray for you right now that gift stops being silent from today that gift stops being silent from today those who need your gift may they find you those who need your gift may they find you speed to your destiny counter that grace that shift men counter that grace that can shift businesses speed to your christian experience when the holy ghost located you i declare speed speed with results in the name of jesus the christ of god some of you are representing families some of you are representing ministries you are representing businesses may that grace speak for you no power in existence will stop you from walking in this anointing in the name of jesus the christ of god speed is one of the dominion systems over time because the unit of destiny is time and everything that lacks time speed is more than progress speed dominion over time in the name of jesus let it be we declared by the spirit of grace you came to church to encounter grace and we prophesy by the god of heaven just like the dear man of God, Minister Nosa sang, Na your way is his way to, to, to bring speed to our lives. Everything standing your way, not allowing you to experience speed. I lift my hands to the God of our covenant and I declare it must clear out of the way right now for you. It must clear out of the way now for you. Every enchantment, katapotos kotoba, every divination, every covenant, activities of familiar spirits sitting on your destiny i will not let you move in the name of jesus i move it for your sake i move it for your sake i move it for your sake hearing in my spirit restoration restoration i cost that spirit right now in the name of jesus let her go i'm hearing in my spirit restoration and i'm hearing i will restore I don't know what you've lost relationships monies by the power of prophecy receive restoration receive restoration receive restoration receive restoration in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone now not to offend you but your father practiced some kind of occultism some of these religions that people just conjure things and he practiced a lot of occultism while you were growing up 
and the Lord wants to set you free from the influence of that thing because till today you go to bed and you still find out interactions with strange and familiar spirits in the name that is above all names I don't know where that person is but be set free now you are the man you the father my God before he died in the name of Jesus you are a great man of God I pray for you everything that has come as a result of that by the mercies of God be set free right now be set free right now in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead everything that is not of God I command it to let you go now release them now release them now now every spirit out of their destinies by the power that is in the name of Jesus wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name I declare your liberty now I declare your liberty now in the name of Jesus Christ before you sit down may I request that you open your mouth in one minute and everything you are tired of that must let you go tonight open your mouth and declare by faith everything that must let you go that this Egyptian you see today you will see no more forever we are going to the world shortly but pray hallelujah father let our lives be testament that you visited us tonight move mightily among your people let your word come with power in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ please be seated if you can those in front God bless you you may return back to your seats rejoicing just help those under the anointing all those who are in front you can return back to your seat as many who can you are delivered you are set free by the power of the Holy Spirit now tonight as I teach please be your brother's keeper whether you are an usher or not if anyone is under the anointing close to you please do help them so they do not injure themselves you can lift those who are in front here gently back to their seats for those who are unable to rise just leave them until they are fine i command every spirit to live in the name of jesus we must let them go release them right now out of them finally never to return in the name of jesus christ let's just allow a minute or two so that they return to their seats please lead them ushers help them so that we go to the ministry of the world the bible says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is you don't have to bring any more people don't worry just take them back someone help explain to those outside so that they understand what we're doing Pray one prayer while we allow them go back to their seats speak to my heart oh god even by the power of your spirit may your word come with power may it change my life in the name of jesus begin the teaching of the word now when god calls for meetings like this please listen very carefully when god calls for meetings like this there are avenues to help people encounter him at a greater 
and at a higher level even in heaven john was asked to come up hither and that there were other things that he had not yet seen and he had not yet known you have come tonight to learn the hallelujah you are help me sound praise the lord you have come tonight to encounter the god of the bible i leave you with one assurance you will never go back the way you came in the name of jesus i am confident that the sermons you've immersed yourself in have served as a wellspring of blessings uplifting your life and instilling a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve god we extend a warm invitation for you to become a subscriber to our youtube channel by activating the notification bell you ensure that you remain connected and never miss any of our upcoming videos your subscription signifies more than a mere click it represents a pledge to continual spiritual growth enlightenment and empowerment Embark on this faith-filled journey with us as our channel aspires to be a haven for both spiritual seekers and devoted believers. We ardently believe in the transformative power of God's Word, and our objective is to share messages that deeply resonate with your soul. Join our community, subscribe, and allow the radiant light of divine wisdom to illuminate your path. We express our gratitude for your integral role in this uplifting journey. And we pray that God's abundant blessings overflow in your life. Amen. Stay connected with us on all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel. And feel free to explore our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you. And may God abundantly bless you.